Gordon. That last shot was from the shotgun. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back again. Hey guys, so we actually showed you the explosives that we had. It was late night, so we wanted you to see the sparks. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it in bright daylight, okay? So we are in this place, uh, which is really open. What we're gonna do now, light this one up. This is the smallest one, and there it goes. Yeah! Tell you about let's do it here, look. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, man. Let's find a hole. Fire in Kaboom. the hole. Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Ah, that's quite beautiful. Light one and then throw it as far as you can. The fuse just died. You're right. Fuse burnt. So you're gonna light the small, medium, and the red tank for you in a row so you can see the difference. Number one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Now for the third one. I'm scared for the third one. Ah! <laughs> oh, we have actually combined these two and we're gonna light them Shit. at the same time. Okay, are you ready? No. You're not ready? I was never ready. Let's put this here. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <laughs> Let me stand a kilometer away first. <laughs> That's the last of all that we have. We just came from a shop and we found gold. What we have here is what we just found at a shop. We found guns. These are basically BB guns, okay? And in Singapore, we don't see BB guns. It's actually banned. But what we have here are BB guns. We'll show you these individual guns in a while. This one, shotgun. which is a, a mini shotgun. Even though it looks a bit... Funny, gun. yeah, it looks like a water gun and like some Daisy play toy gun. Yeah, this is one of the stronger ones. Sniper rifle. Yeah, my favorite. Uh, your favorite? Yeah. Comes with a scope too, but we won't be using yeah, the scope. A shotgun. If I'm not wrong, this is actually illegal. In the novelty guy bag, we have lots Ooh, and yes. lots of BB pellets. Yeah, so we've got a lot. I think this is like the metallic ones. And then we've got the plastic ones, but these are hard plastic. Okay, so right now I'm gonna shoot this gun. With the rubber pellets. This is the HP5, right? Yeah. That is HP5. HP5. This is a very cool one. It looks very real. Actually, among many of those, this looks one of the most realistic. Like this, and okay. just push it in. And you clock it by just pushing this thing backwards. Like. Pulling it backwards? Yeah, then you hear the click sound, yeah. and then you release it. Fine. I know we have such guns in Singapore too, those small little pellet ones. So if you buy any of these small pellet ones in the stores, you realize that they can only shoot about 1 to 2 meters or maybe 1.5 meters, okay? So it's a very short distance, a maximum of 3 meters, even if it shoots you right in front, just shoot at yourself, it feels like nothing. nothing. Yeah, it feels like just someone tapping you. Let's have a look at how far this can shoot. Oh, hit the leaf. Oh, there. shish, I heard the sound, yeah. yeah. Uh, it hit the tree. In case you're wondering like, how far this tree is away from us, it's actually very far, okay? So, um, he's gonna stay down there, and we are gonna come to this tree in which the leaf got hit. Okay, so that's how far it is. Not sure whether we can find the pellets on the ground now. Now, I would like you to shoot one of these leaves. Went right through. Where did it go? Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it, look! It's not just the first one, remove the first leaf. It went through the first leaf, and then it went into the second, second one! Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful, it's such a nicely yeah, like, punctured hole, right? Like, like, it's so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> what we have here is a cabbage. We've got a tomato. So... Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that we are quite interested to know how far these bullets can actually penetrate, say, example, cabbage. So we have already set the cabbage out and we're going to use the soft rubber bullet first. So it may not have like the best impact on the cabbage, but later on we'll try using the hard pellets. Loaded? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you saw that? It went in. The cabbage. <laughs> Oh, my poor little cabbage. Let's try this. This looks sturdier. And we're gonna see what is the impact on the cabbage. There it goes again. 
Okay, so now we're gonna try out this uh, shotgun. Very interesting one. First of all, you can see that this area where you can put the pellets in, it's much longer than the previous ones. So the previous one can put maybe three, four, five pellets, but this one looks like you can put a whole bunch in there. Load it up with pellets, clocking it. Oh, the spring is hard. One, two, go. <laughs> it's a nose now. So which one went in more? Okay, I would say that this one went in a bit more than this. This is a very clean one though. You can see yeah. this one. Yeah, this is very clean. This is beautiful. No. This one is the most prominent one. It kind of like popped up. And then this went in a bit more and this went in even more. This is the shot from the shotgun. And it's very cool because you can put in a lot of ammo at one time. Uh, definitely one of the choices you want, especially when you're going to have a game with BB gun. If you're going to play with BB guns, please make sure you get your protective. If you want to get a protective goggles, you can get it from our boxes. Any of the Novelty Guy boxes. But There's spider in your face. Now we are going to try out the last tool, which is basically the hard sniper rifle as well as the hard shotgun. Let me just show you the size difference. This is the shotgun that is made fully of plastic. This is slightly tougher and this looks more sturdy. This is known to be much stronger. Now I used to play with something like that before, but it was so strong, my gun actually split into half. Show us a bit on the sniper, please. To reload, simply just pull this off and just mm -hmm. pull it down and push it. Okay, click sound, let it go, push it up. So do you have to lock it into position again? Uh, no need. No need? Yeah. Alright. Let's try on the leaf first. Whoa! I felt that impact, but look! What? Two at a time. I, I loaded two and then I, I reloaded one and two came out. Whoa! I think that means that two can be fired at the same time. We are going to try firing it at the cabbage. Oh! oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> It oh, went in! It went in! It went right in! in. Right oh my in. gosh! What is in there now? Oh, I see it! It's in there! That is the power of the sniper! So now we're going to take a look at the shotgun. So like I said, this was something I played with before. What I like about this is that this is a shotgun, very very strong, and you can load multiple ammo into this area here. So basically this whole area here is for ammo. Whoa! Oh, it actually vibrated. Do you see that? You're shooting at the same spot. How are you shooting at the same spot? Sharpshooter, eh? Oh! How are you shooting at the same spot? Oh my spot? gosh, guys, look at this. <laughs> We're going to actually shoot a package that we actually prepared. So, we have here the cabbage tied on a stick. So, imagine you're going out for a very nice day, you're going out for a nice meal, and then you have like this food there with cabbage, stick, a bit of gunpowder. What happens then? Carry on. Woo! Nice! Try it again. Fire! Own time, own target. Carry on. We're gonna see what happens to the tomato. Oh! Look at that! We're gonna actually have a competition. We are gonna use our weapon of choice and we're gonna fire and see who hits the tomato first. We're gonna stand here and we're gonna fire at the tomato. The first person who hits the tomato wins. My weapon of choice would be the shotgun. Like I said, I really enjoy the shotgun. Should I choose the other one? His weapon of choice is the sniper rifle. How many of you think that the sniper rifle will win? At least in the comments below, okay? Type down in the comment below who you think will win. Please comment shotgun if you think it's a shotgun and comment the sniper rifle if you think it is the sniper rifle. Which weapon do you think will win the tomato challenge? Virus, on time, on target, carry on. You hit? Oh, I hit again! You hit! Oh, yes! We've got a winner! Yes! We've got a winner! Woo! So, finally at round 7, we got a clear winner. The sniper rifle won. And that was really cool. During the first round, both of us actually hit the tomato. Until the 7th round, both of us have been missing and hitting at the same time. Alright, and only at the seventh round, the sniper rifle hit once and the shotgun missed. We have here two eggs. So we're going to take these two eggs and we're going to lay them down at a distance. He has his own egg and I have my own egg and we're going to fire at the egg. The first person who breaks his eggs will win this round. Round two of our challenge. We're going to lay two eggs here. We have to fire at the egg and crack the egg, okay? The first person who fires at the egg and cracks the egg wins. You missed. Round two. On time, on target. Carry on. 
I missed. Oh my god, <laughs> it's time for one again. You now have to hit my egg too. Ready? On time, on target, carry on. Hey! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Whoa. That last shot was from the shotgun! Woo! Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us in our vlog. We had a great time making it. I hope you enjoyed yourself too. I hope you had a great day too. I think it's really very fun that we get to experience these kind of things. Like seriously, without us making these vlogs, we wouldn't have the opportunity of uh, getting these kind of things to play with. Really want to thank the people who have been uh, giving us all these kind of things as well as opportunities. Thank you so much. We really appreciate and yeah, we hope you had fun. Now, if you really enjoyed everything, please do drop us a like. Please do share this video. It will help a lot and remember comment uh, in the comment section okay we want to hear from you we want to know what your thoughts are on everything and anything at all right so that's all we have for you today stay cool stay awesome and be your best always bye whoa